Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I have blessed God for this opportunity to bring his truth to you. Now, yesterday I was talking to you about differentiating the, the, uh, and understanding God's voice. Now, many times people say, God spoke to me, and then they don't realize that it's actually the devil that spoke to them. You see, because you don't know the difference by the hearing. You know the difference by character, the character of the voice you hear. See, so when he tells you what he is telling you, you'll be able to differentiate that this is the spirit of God talking to me or this is the devil that's talking to me. So you, you don't take out the place of fellowship. See, you, that's the only way you will know Jesus, true fellowship, true constant fellowship. You fellowship with his, 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 his word. You fellowship with his truth. You fellowship with other believers who are genuinely walking with the Lord. See, just like, you know, say if you walk with the wise, you become wise. If you walk with people who hear God, if you walk with people who fellowship with God, I mean, it will just happen. You will just begin to hunger for that fellowship. And you will begin to realize that, oh, you mean God talks to me like this? God talks to a lot of people. You see, the, to hear God has never been the problem. I'm telling the truth. As for him, he has been speaking. And the short, the funny thing about it is, you have been hearing him, but you didn't know. You see, why don't I know? Because you lack fellowship. You see, when you begin to fellowship with him, you begin to realize that those things that you used to think were you thinking was actually God speaking to you. That, that's the surest way he speaks. Many times when he speaks, you think you are thinking. Now, because you didn't know the character of the Lord, you didn't know, you just think it's your mind that was thinking. But, but when you sit and analyze those things, your mind is not even intelligent enough to conceive those kind of thoughts. So it just means that there is an outward voice speaking to you, even if it's, even if it's inside your heart. Praise God. So Peter was telling us this here, you know. You know, he, he said in verse 8, 2 Peter chapter 1, Say, for if these things be in you and abound, what things? All these things he's talking about add to your faith, virtue, add to, uh, add to virtue, uh, knowledge, and to knowledge, you know, um, self control, and to self control, patience, and to patience, godliness, and godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. And it says, if these things be in you and abound, let me read this from the Amplified Bible, verse 8. It says, for as these qualities are yours and increasingly abound in you. See, it says, increasingly abound. So this is not a one-time thing. This is not a one-time prayer. This is not something to say, Father, I receive patience. Father, I receive virtue. Father, I receive... No, 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 no. It's a practice. It's a practice. You understand what I'm saying? And then you move from levels to the other. You know, for example, you believe God. Maybe today, you're believing God for maybe where you stay. You're believing God for uh, self-contained. You know, that's just a room and, and kitchen, toilet, and, 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 and bathroom. That's all you have now. And, and you're, you're happy because the testimony of this place was, wow. I mean, God just showed up and gave you this thing, and you were so excited. And two years now, if I tell you I've been paying my rent, you would just say, wow, because God has been faithful to me. Yes, but hey, you can add some more va va virtue to that. If for two years... God have been supplying my rent miraculously for this self-contained. Hey, I can move a step further. I can go to a one-bedroom apartment. See? So, Lord, you know, you've been, you, that's how you add virtue to your faith. I told you virtue means class. Increase it. So, Lord, you know, for the past two years now, you've been supplying this money. I have not stressed myself. Even when I stressed myself, I realized that you've got me, you know, covered. And I've got, gotten to that point. And let me tell you this thing. If God does the same thing twice in your life, it is established that that's his work with you. I'm telling you the truth. If God should pay your rent twice, you know what I mean by God paying your rent? Twice. I'm talking to people who are of faith, people who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. If he pays your rent twice, 
Then listen, it means never worry where your rent is concerned. Actually, it will be a sin against him after he's done it twice for you to worry concerning that. Now, what is, does he expect you to do? He expects you to sit down and say, you know what? God, I've done this twice in my life. I relax and just trust him. I say, Lord, I know this is, you've taken the bill of paying my rent. You know what? Just tell me what you have me do. And that's exactly what I'll do. You know, when you talk like this, sometimes people say, ah, is that not laziness? There is no man, ah, there is no man who walks with the Lord and is lazy. It's impossible. It's impossible. You know, Jesus said, my father walks, he that do, and I walk. You can't walk with God and be lazy. Now, you think, you think he's lazy because he's not out there struggling. And you, you, because you, you don't come meet him and say, where are you? Ah, I went to pursue one business. I went to pursue one this. I mean, you, you know, because he doesn't do that. I think, oh, this man is lazy. No, no. He, he may just be incubating something that is about to explode. I'm telling you the truth. As long as you know that this man is walking by with the Lord, as long as you know this man is hearing the voice of God and obeys God, he is never a lazy man. Because you see, the word of God is coming to him and he is meditating on it. He is getting his whole thinking, his whole mindset to, be a, to, to arrange you know, where the word of God is concerned. And soon an instruction is going to come. And that instruction can be a business idea. That instruction can be, hey, get up and begin to do this thing. And you will find so much diligence in what they do. You know why? Because they have spent months and months getting themselves into, the, into this thing. And when they start like that, there is no stopping their praise. God, you know this time is just running so fast. We've got to stop here. Until tomorrow, God bless you. Bye-bye.